Okay, so hello guys. So today I'm going to be running through my current Arch Linux installation method. Uh, this is a pretty simple and fast install, but we are going to do a few interesting things uh, like discoverable partitions and uh, unified kernel images. And we're also doing encrypted root as well. I'm not going to waffle along too much, so let's just get straight into this. As you can see, I've already uh, booted off the latest Arch Linux ISO in a virtual machine. All the commands you see uh, can be done on bare metal as well. Okay. Get started. I'm just going to change the font something a bit larger so you can see it. Everything. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, first thing first, make sure we internet. We do. Okay, and change the key layout to UK keys. And let's find out the hard disk name. Okay, you can see my hard disk is there. It's dev SDA. Okay, so let's use gdisk to set up our partitions. Okay, first thing first, let's create a new partition table. So press O. Proceed as yes, we do. And let's create our first partition, which will be the EFI uh, partition. So, partition number one, first sector, just press enter for the default. And then we'll make it 512 megabytes in size. And we're going to change the file system type to EF00 which is an EFI system partition and we're just going to give it a name EFI system okay let's create the second partition we're just going to create one large partition with the rest of the hard drive space for the second one so just use the defaults rule and then change the uh, partition type to 8304 we are using discoverable partitions so system D needs to know uh, that where the partitions are so just make sure this is the correct here Okay, that's set. Let's give it a label. We'll call it Linux. That'll do. Press P to print it out to make sure we're not making any mistakes. Looks good. Do we to write it? And yes, we'll save our changes. Okay, next thing's next. Let's, create, uh, let's encrypt the, uh, the root partition. So, encrypt setup. And we're going to look format, big F format. I'm going to choose type looks to dev sda2. Do we want to proceed? Yes, we do. Big letters. Create a strong and secure password. Okay, that was successful. Let's open it up. Give it a name. Okay, so that should be our, our encrypted partition set up. Let's just check it's in the mapper where it should be. Okay, it is. Good, it should map to DM0. It is. It's good, we can proceed. So let's make the file systems now. The EFI partition has to be formatted as VFAT. So we'll do make fs.vfat f32. Give it a name, I'm just going to say name H, I labeled it as. And there we go. And now for the root partition, I'm just going to format it using extend for today, but you can use whatever you want here. Butter, butter FS, XFS, something like that. It's up to you. Then we choose the where what we're actually going to make the file system on. Don't do it on the block, do it on the, the root, which we just mapped into uh, the dev mapper. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Let's mount our file systems. So, we'll mount the root partition first, and we we'll mount it to MNT. And let's create the EFI folder in the MNT directory. And let's mount our EFI partition there. Okay, check our work. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so let's update uh, the Pac-Man mirrors now. So we need Reflector to do this. So run the Reflector command, we need to use country, GB, so I only want UK mirrors. Age, I only want ones updated in the last 24 hours. Protocol, HTTP or HTTPS. I'm going to sort them by rate. I'm going to say go into Etsy, Pac-Man, D, 
mirror list. Might take a minute, depending on your connection speed. Let's see. Let's make sure it runs successfully. Yeah, that's fine. The one I had, I had a warning about is put it right to the bottom of the list, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's patch strap our base install. So patch strap to MNT. We need to install base. We need to install the kernel. We'll just go with the normal uh, Arch Linux kernel, Linux, and then Linux firmware to get our drivers. I'm installing AMD U-code because I'm using a Ryzen processor. If you're using an Intel, change this to Intel slash U-code or Intel dash U-code. I need B, I need Nano. Crypt setup. Um, Linux utilities. I've gone for Extend 4, so I'm going to install E2FS Progs. I'm also going to install DOSFS tools, working with fat partitions, and I'm going to install sudo as well. Okay. Right, it's going to take a few minutes. Be back shortly. Okay, so that's our basis and patch strapped in. So what we need to do now is to root into our base install. So we use arch hyphen root mn slash mnt. Okay, so let's do a few locale settings first. We'll make a symbolic link so we get the correct time zone. I'm in the UK, so I'm just gonna use London. And we'll symbolically link that to okay. Sync the clock. And we'll enable system D time sync D on reboot. That way we'll have NTP when we reboot. Okay, next thing let's do our, our locales. Here, just some comment uh, your country and local choice. I'm going to use en underscore gb utf. Okay. Should put that in there here as well. In the console, just put your key map when we did the very start. And the host name, we've got arch VM. And then we'll generate our local. Okay, that's done. We need to create a kernel command line. Uh, this is for uh, the unified kernel image. We don't actually need to put anything in there because it'll take it all from the system, but we need to have one because otherwise it'll give us an error. And put rewrite required in there. Okay, that's all we need to do for there. Now we need to make some changes to the uh, uh, the, the RAM disk and make init script. So let's change the config file. So we need to change the hooks. The U dev, we need to use systemd instead. We don't need key map or console font. We will use st slash st dash v console. And then we also need to add st dash encrypt. Okay, that's all we need to do today. Like I said, we are using unified kernel images, so we do need to make a change to the uh, the RAM disk generation script. So we'll edit the preset. Now what we're gonna do here We make sure that all the configs use that file which we just created with the new hooks. We're going to comment out the default underscore image part so it doesn't create Im images. Okay. And then we're going to uncomment the UKI file. So Arch Linux makes it very easy to make unified kernel images. All you need to do is just uncomment this. Okay. And it's going to, when, it, when you run the script or when you install a new kernel, 
it will install a unified kernel image for your settings which we've got here into EFI slash EFI slash Linux and you can change the name here if you want obviously that's whatever they got there and to make it look nice we'll just uncomment that okay that's good let's create that folder which we just uh, mentioned so that's make there dash p to make all the parent uh, folders okay now let's only make in it cpio script and this should generate our unified kernel image Again, it worked. Just going to edit the preset again, and now we'll remove the fallback. We don't have, we don't need that to generate service anymore. Okay. Now, if we go into our EFI folder, you should see we just got one nice unified kernel image as an EFI file. If we pump it out. You see all the parts there, which we've all put into, into one file. So you just make the command line, the splash screen, the Linux kernel, the RAM disk, all in one easy to use file. Perfect. Okay, next one, let's install the desktop environment. I'm going to go with Plasma. Sorry. We'll change the uh, Network manager to network manager because system D network D is not so good for graphical user interfaces. And of course, a bit near patch of thing. We we'll just go over the defaults. Okay, that'll take around five minutes. I'll see you shortly. That's our desktop environment installed. So let's just mask off this and D network D so it doesn't cause any conflicts with network manager. Now let's enable network manager. Capital N, capital M. Okay. And let's enable uh, SDBM. Okay, right. All that's left now is we just need to create a user. So I'm just going to give you a password quickly. Create a user. I'm going to add this user to the wheel group. And we're going to use vsudo give the wheel group sudo privileges. Yeah, that's good. Now with the unified kernel image, you can just uh, use EFI boot manager or your BIOS's uh, boot manager to just boot directly from the EFI file. But I'm just gonna install systemd boot here just to make it easier. Tell it where our EFI folder is. Now there will be two error messages here. That's just because of how we mounted it. You won't get these error messages uh, when you run it again uh, in the actual in installation. Okay, right. So we can exit out of the Cheroot now, and we can reboot, and we should be good to go.
we go. So we are now in plasma. It's just a make it a bit bigger. Hey guys, well, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.